everyone welcome back to another vlog this is the first time i've like got myself ready and put makeup on in like a week i wanted to just kind of sit and chat for a little bit to start off this vlog since it is a crazy time right now and i feel like it would be insensitive to just jump back into a vlog and like act like everything's normal so i hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and healthy today is thursday what's today's date today is thursday march 19th thursday march 19th i have been in my apartment for pretty much like a week straight now as you guys know i'm a senior in college i'm like a week and a half into my spring break now because it got extended to two weeks and starting on monday i will have online classes for the rest of the semester so i'm not going to be going back to campus at all i know a lot of you guys have similar situations my heart goes out to all of you graduating seniors i'm right there with you it's like a really weird time i don't really know how to feel i am lucky at least that i don't like go away to school i live in my apartment here in jersey and i commute to school which is like 25 minutes away and i'm from jersey too so i didn't have to like leave my college town and like go back to my hometown which i know a lot of people had to do so i can't even imagine having to do that right now and just like leaving your entire life at college and like saying goodbye to your friends and not knowing when you're gonna go back i'm also feeling super lucky that i get to continue working from home and i don't really have to switch up my normal routine that much i know for most people transitioning to working from home is a huge adjustment and there are also people that aren't able to work from home and i am so thankful for anyone that is still working in hospitals or grocery stores you're like making a huge difference right now um, and it doesn't go unappreciated but for everyone else that is able to work from home i hope you guys are staying home i feel like i don't need to talk about this too much because there is like so much information out there and we all have been seeing it on social media but just stay home if you can even though a lot of us are young and healthy and like may not be affected personally by this virus um it's our responsibility to stay home and protect everyone that isn't able to fight it off like we are so i hope you guys are taking this seriously and staying informed i have been i like i said haven't left my apartment in a week and i don't really plan on leaving at all until it is safe to during this time i want to keep putting out as much content as I can from home so that in the very least I can provide you guys with some entertainment while you're all stuck at home. I'm trying to make sure I said everything that I wanted to say. But yeah, I hope you guys are all doing okay. I'm here for you guys. We can all be here for each other. So I want to show you guys some apartment updates because I have a lot. And the biggest one, as you might be able to tell, I'm sitting on a couch right now. Thank God I finally have a couch. It came last week, I think exactly a week ago, just in time for quarantine. So, the big reveal. Ta-da! Here it is. If you guys have been following me for the past, like, three months, you know how long it took me to get a couch. This is the second couch that I ordered because I had so many problems with the first company that I ordered from. Um, and it just took so long to come, but it's finally here and i'm obsessed with it it is from modani i will link the exact one down below i was going for like the restoration hardware cloud couch vibe but on a budget um so this one was not cheap by any means it was still an investment definitely but it was like a fourth of the price of the restoration hardware one and i think it gives like pretty much the same look it still feels like very expensive very luxury they're all down cushions so you literally just like sink into it when you sit down a cloud is like the perfect way to describe it honestly and all of these are separate pieces so you order it piece by piece which is really nice because i can like move the ottoman to either side if i ever moved to a room that like needed it to be on the left side and if i ever moved into like a house with a lot more space i could add pieces to it and make it even bigger so yeah i love it it is literally the comfiest thing ever the only downside has been trying to train this one not to scratch it she really likes to scratch this like arm over here so i've been keeping a blanket just like draped over it usually to try to keep her from scratching it luckily i've been home this whole time so when i do catch her scratching it i can like stop her but yeah the couch is here finally and then also since my couch came i got to hang my two wall prints i've had these for months now 
but I wanted to wait till my couch came so that I could kind of measure out where they would go. They're both from Society6. I'll link everything that I'm talking about down below. But yeah, just New York and LA maps. I wanted something like neutral um, just to kind of fill this big wall. These are the largest size that the prints come in. I also need your guys' opinion. So I don't have a coffee table. I was waiting to see what I wanted to do until my couch came because I just kind of wanted to see like how everything fit in the space. Right now I'm leaning towards not getting a coffee table. It's hard to tell like the size of this room on camera, but this room is very like narrow this way and the couch is so big and it like goes out so far. I feel like if I got a coffee table to go right here, it would just be a lot and it would be very like cluttered. I definitely could fit a coffee table here if I wanted one, but I'm just not sure if I want to keep it like really open or if I want the coffee table. But I did find this little table at Target when I was there like a little over a week ago and I just really liked it so I decided to buy it and I put it right here as kind of like a replacement for a coffee table so I can just set things on here. I still need to get some cute like decorative stuff to go on here but what do you guys think? Do you guys think I should keep this here and not get a coffee table? Should I get a coffee table and if so should I go for like a wooden one, a glass one, acrylic, like what vibe would my coffee table need to be i just really can't decide on this one hi what's up okay so yeah let me know what you guys think i also moved some stuff around here ignore my ring light here i've been making tiktoks <laughs> this tv stand used to be like that way a little more and these shelves were on the right of the tv stand and then i had this little tree on the left but once I got the couch, I felt like the TV stand needed to like go this way a little more. So then I moved the shelves to that side. And then I just have this little basket from Target right here where I keep blankets. And then I just moved the little tree there for now. I don't know if it's going to stay there. But I kind of like this whole vibe. Like the tree and then the table with the mirror. What? What do you want? You just want attention. But now that I moved the shelves over there, I feel like I need something to go on this wall. So I'm on the lookout for something to hang here, just like a little framed thing or something. I don't really know. And then I'm still getting things to style these shelves. I really don't like how they look right now. But I always like to go to Home Goods when I need little decorative things, and I can't really go there right now. So this will just have to go on pause, but I am going to switch this stuff around. I think that's all of the apartment updates that I wanted to give you guys. I need to put these dishes away. They're clean. I just was waiting for them to dry. But I feel like the apartment is coming together. There's still a lot I need to do before I can film an apartment tour, but the couch is here and that was the biggest thing that I was waiting on. I also just wanted to chat with you guys about what I've been doing to... Stay busy. To be honest, I've been super lazy the past like several days. I think not having school has made me really lazy. I think hopefully next week once I start my online classes and like have homework and stuff again, I'll get back into like my productive routine. But yeah, I've been super lazy. I've been watching so much TV and so many movies, which I never do. Like I literally barely watch TV. So it's kind of been nice. I've caught up on all my Bravo shows. Vanderpump Rules, Real Housewives of New Jersey just ended last night. I've rewatched every season of RuPaul's Drag Race that is on Hulu. It only goes up to season six, which it would be really nice, Hulu, if anyone's watching, if you guys could put all of the Drag Race seasons on because we're all at home right now. I could really use like the rest of the Drag Race seasons right now. But I rewatched all six seasons and then I also watched the UK version of Drag Race for the first time which was really good. It was basically the same as American Drag Race. They just like had accents. Um, so it was like a whole another season that I hadn't seen. I've been watching the Toast movies of the day. The Morning Toast has been doing a new movie to watch every single day. So I've been watching those. I've been watching a lot of Disney Plus. Yesterday I watched Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. Great movie, hadn't seen it in so long. And I watched Cheetah Girls one and two yeah i think that's pretty much all i watched i hate starting new shows i'm like really bad it takes me so long to like get into a show so when i'm bored i just re-watch old shows that i already know that i like 
Um, but if you guys have any show recommendations, let me know. I also just started reading this book. I've been reading the books for the Redheads book club. This is the second book, but since I'm home and have nothing to do, I don't want to miss any. So I'm reading this one and then I'll get caught up hopefully in the next few days. Here is the back. I literally just started it last night, so I'm not very far yet. So I don't know really how it is yet, but I'm going to read it and then listen to the Redheads Book Club podcast so we can discuss. And yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to playing with Kitty. Comment down below what you guys have been doing to keep yourself busy. If you have any show recommendations, book recommendations, um, or just like activities new projects new hobbies that you guys have gotten into let me know in the comments i also want to take this extra time to kind of revamp my youtube channel and my instagram i'm actually going to start working on that now i want to make a new little like outro screen to go at the end of my videos so i'm gonna start working on that now hopefully you guys will see that at the end of this video it's like 4 p.m and i'm kind of in the mood for an iced coffee i don't really need it I had coffee this morning, but it just sounds good. So I'm going to make myself a nice coffee and then start working on that. Hey guys, it's a little bit later now. I just filmed a TikTok, so I have my ring light set up. So the lighting's really good right here. I've had a productive past couple of hours, filmed and posted a TikTok. Follow me on there. I've been posting some dancing TikToks. If you guys didn't know, I danced for my entire life um, from when I was four years old to when I graduated high school. So my 14 years of dance training is coming in handy for TikTok. Yeah, filmed a TikTok. I made my little outro thingy for my videos. I also organized my Instagram highlights. So I have like outfits, home stuff, beauty stuff, that kind of thing. So if you're ever looking for links, I'm going to try to get better about linking everything on my Instagram story and then saving it to my highlights so you guys can always like reference back to it like have my rug linked these prints that kind of thing so i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here i just wanted to give you guys some apartment updates since it's been a while and also just kind of check in with you guys see how you're all doing let you know how i'm doing so i'm gonna end this video here and then i'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow but definitely let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see especially videos that I can film at home obviously other than vlogs I'm gonna keep vlogging my days at home and starting next week when my online classes start I definitely want to do like days in my life while doing online school but besides vlogs what videos do you guys want to see especially like sit down videos since I'm home and I have some extra time now just let me know what you guys want to see if there's any topics you guys want me to talk about I think that's it I love you guys so much I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and healthy staying home and just doing things that make you happy yeah love you guys and I will see you very soon with another new video bye